Everybody knows that human beings evolved from monkeys, right? Isn't that right? I've always used that to give my brother-in-law an excuse. <laughs> you know, we were in Borneo. <laughs> I swear, when that one place we went, that thing hanging in a tree really looked like him. <laughs> Except my brother-in-law's got more hair. What do they call orangutan? Oh, uh, whatever. What we do know, as a matter of fact, that the concept of this evolution that's being offered and really accepted in so many places lacks any real testable evidence. The most that we can come up with is not even a possibility, more or less like a dream that they're trying to use evidences, mix them together, stack the deck, as we say, to come up with something. But again, we can look to the innocence of a four-year-old child and tell them, here's the story, and show them the picture, the one you see in the books all the time. You see, science book going to tell us, okay, first we have this little creature, you know, something you don't know exactly what it is, and then it kind of Next picture looks like a little bigger, and it's called marmoset. And then a little bit bigger, it's kind of looked like a squirrel monkey. And a little bit bigger, it's a spider monkey. And then it's a capuchin monkey. And then it's, a, you know, use these monkey pictures and kind of redraw them a little bit. And then, ah, oh, now we got something here, look kind of like, you know, chimpanzee. And then chimpanzee kind of goes to the brother-in-law one, the orangutan. And then it goes up to the gorilla. And then it goes to, you know, like this. And then you got a guy walking with a briefcase. <laughs> but he's still wearing the same clothes the king had on. You got that one, right? Now, show that to a little boy and tell him, this is how human beings came. We evolved. We went through these stages. Now, we don't really have, there's a missing link. You're telling there's a missing link in here. We don't have it. There's something missing between this and this. Between here and there? Between here and here, something's missing. Missing link. But, for sure, human beings evolved from these monkeys. Show a four-year-old boy. They look at it and go, Daddy, if we evolved from monkeys, how come we still have monkeys? <laughs> Just pull this back, and it's between here and here where something's missing. You get it? Yeah. <laughs> Just got it, huh? That's, that's called a sneak up. It sneaks up on you, you start laughing. All right, no problem. Actually, there are a lot of flaws in this so-called science of evolution when it comes to trying to prove humans came from monkeys. There's a lot of flaws in it. One of the clearest flaws of all is that whenever we deal in medicine, we're talking about using body parts, you know, from other humans to humans to try to save lives, to try to enrich lives, people that don't have eyes and somebody passes away, you can use the eyes from the cadaver for them to be able to see. It works a lot of times. A liver is a very important thing. You can't hardly get by without that. So some people, they drink a lot of alcohol and then when they have a blowout, then they want somebody to come along and get in a car wreck so they can get their liver. Well, that's what it really is. I tell it like it is. I told you we're going to talk common sense. That's what it is. All right, so now he's got this new liver in there. But it doesn't always work. Sometimes the body rejects it. It doesn't work. Another thing is try to have a heart transplant. You've heard about that. Again, it doesn't always work. You have to be careful. There are certain things that have to match up. And when you're doing kidneys, Again, it has to match up. Sometimes they find a close relative that has enough of the similarity here in the structure of what all the body's about. Okay, now we can get it from your cousin. The cousin has to give up a kidney, so you get a kidney, and now you're good to go. Yeah? Well, not how it works. Well, 
when John Wayne, the famous actor, the cowboy, they used to call him the Duke. In 1977, he had open heart surgery. Now he needed a valve for his heart. Now, did they go to the local zoo? And I'm asking you, did they go to the zoo and did they check out and take blood types from the gorillas, orangutans, and the chimpanzees? Is that what they did? No, of course not. Not at all. They didn't even think about that. They already knew it wouldn't work. But they got the valve from an animal. You know where they got it? They went to the local farm, or the barnyard, and they got it out of a pig, Khanzir. Yeah. And I remember them joking about it afterwards. They said he can't be a Jew now because he's got a pig's heart. <laughs> it was in the newspaper. They were joking, you know. But if you could see that, then why didn't you think? So did we evolve from pigs? <laughs> it is interesting to note that Allah makes this comparison in the Quran about people. Some people that he turned into pigs and monkeys or apes. It was only a certain type at a certain time that Allah is referring to, but the point that, it, that we're talking about here is that if you see something doesn't work, then why do you keep accepting that to be a fact? Is there something going, is there some agenda we don't know about? Is somebody getting some payola, you know, under the table deal here? Or is there some kind of benefit for them writing books or getting a position of authority in the university? What is it that they're getting out of this deal that causes them to continually propagate something they know? Not only they can't prove it, they know it's not right. Why? In my lectures, I've had some of these guys come up and they want to say something about it. As soon as I offer a couple of things, they said, yeah, but, 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 So when you get your motorboat started, come back, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to go too deep into this one because I've got a website that you can go and get actual facts and see for yourself. It's called Science Islam. Dot com S C I E N C E I S L A M dot com. You'll be able to see right there for yourself, without a doubt, that the common sense says we did not come from monkeys. Nope, not at all. But before we leave the topic, oh, uh, when you're on the website, be sure and watch the videos of nine scientists, former atheists who after they understood what was in here, compared it to their own science and discipline, they said, you know, we're finding out stuff in the last couple decades that's been in the Quran for 1400 years. Woo. You can listen to them say it. Don't trust me, I'm from Texas. <laughs> now they laugh. All right. 